video, I'm going to show you my August favorites, the products that I've been loving the most this month, reaching for the most, so stay tuned. stopping by. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, turn on all notifications so that you're updated on my videos, which post on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. So we're going to go ahead and get started and show you my August favorites. All right, so I have some good products here for this month. I'm going to leave the best for last, so stay tuned for that. Now, I'm gonna show you the products that I like but not necessarily love. Some of the products that I have been reaching for, trying, testing out, see how I feel. The first one I have here is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. And so far, I'm still kinda of teetering, not sure. Not the worst, not the best. Starting to get a little bit more acquainted with it, so liking it a little bit more as I go, but I feel like I need a little bit more time to tell you absolutely for sure. It's a great product. This is the swatch there, so I've been rubbing it in just so you can kind of see. I would say it has a medium, medium full coverage. I was able to cover up some, I mean, I have some acne scars and then some hyperpigmentation that I have, you know, sun damage. But I do have the shade Light 50W. First time I wore this, I was just about to say, yep, never mind, no good. I mixed it with the Pretty Fresh Primer that's also by ColourPop. It was not a good combination. I don't know if it was the type of foundation and primer combination it just didn't work well but I have more recently been wearing it with my favorite primer which is the first aid beauty coconut smoothie primer which I'm always talking about it has a beautiful radiance so it keeps it glowy enough but not overly glowy this is definitely more of a radiant a little bit dewy foundation so you kind of have to watch so far with that combination I have been enjoying it I will insert a couple of photos I wore it all day yesterday and then took a couple of photos at the end of the day probably after like a good eight hours of wear so I'll show you some of those pictures. Did of course start to break down a little bit as you can see on the face around the chin and the nose and then you can see some spots where they're just totally faded away or kind of collected around some like say scarred areas that kind of thing so and some textured areas but yeah so I'm still trying it we'll see. Not my best but not the worst either. I'd say it's it's average right now but I'll, I'll keep it posted after I use it a little bit more but that's my first product. The next product that I have been enjoying, the Elf Bite Size Face Duos, and I have Spiced Apple. It's just a nice, little bit peachy kind of shade, but it's really, really pretty. And I like that this has a matte blush, but it also has the highlighted side as well that you can either put over top of the blush or put a little extra highlight. That one's a really pretty shade that I've worn quite a few times. And then this one is Watermelon. This is the one that I'm wearing today. And I think with what I'm about to show you, it just complements really well the color kind of a nude pink. I think it's a very nice universal color and of course has the highlighted side as well. Again, I like that you can you have them separate so that you don't have to be glowy if you don't want to be. So I am enjoying those. They are good products so I'm Another thing here that's definitely a favorite, the Persona Cali Glow Highlighters. This one is in Laguna. I've talked about Zuma quite a lot. Laguna though is more of an ivory. I was afraid it was gonna be a little bit too light. It's a very, very pretty highlighter. I don't know if you can see there over the uh, foundation, but beautiful, beautiful highlight. Now Persona period, I feel like they're a company you can't go wrong. All their products that I've ever tried so far have been wonderful. So I would highly recommend Persona, try them out. Another product that I have been enjoying is Natasha Denona's Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. I've recently shown some swatches and that kind of stuff, so I'll just insert some swatches instead of trying to swatch all these again. But you know, you have your <clears throat> cream base there, highlighter, highlighter, and bronzer. And again, this can be like a blush. I think it's meant to be more like a blush to get that bronze look. For me, it's a little too dark, so I would use that very, very lightly, maybe more as like a highlight mix. And of course, that's a highlighter. And then this bronzer, like I said, I've been using it quite a lot. Just be careful. Not not to go in with a heavy hand because it's highly pigmented, but definitely enjoying that. All right, another group of products here that I have been enjoying are lip products. These are by Makeup Forever. These are the Artist Color Pencils. I have three of them. This one here is called Anywhere Caffeine, and out of the three so far, I'm feeling like this one is my favorite, but that is it there if you can see, and I'll put all three of them by each other here so you can 
see those. The next one, I think this was the second one I got. I can't remember which order I got these in. This one's Wherever Walnut, just a little bit darker and a little bit more pink mauve tone. And the Wherever Walnut is the one on this side, Anywhere Caffeine. And you know, anything that says caffeine in it, coffee. <laughs> I love coffee. I am a coffee fiend. I have a problem. Yes. I do. And then the last one I have here, which is probably my least favorite, is Completely Sepia. Nothing against it, but it's a little bit more pink. I'm more of a neutral beige lip color person. So that one is a little bit more pink than I was hoping for, but it's that last one there. So like I said, I think the Anywhere Caffeine one is my favorite. But those are those. And then I also have the Artist Couture lipsticks that I've been talking so much about. Uh, the newer one I have is Saucy Gal, which I'm wearing now. So I'm wearing the Anywhere Caffeine Makeup Forever lip pencil, Artist Couture and Saucy Gal, which I will try to swatch here for you a little bit. That's that one there and very pretty color again it's more of that like neutral nude a little bit caramel color that one's a really really pretty one the one that i had originally that is my favorite for me and what i like what looks good on me that is the boy toy that's that one over here and show you there real quick but this one has a little bit more of that pinkish undertone which i think with my skin tone and undertones just complements very well the last one i got which is a little bit darker i wasn't sure it's you know hard to tell online what you're getting what it looks like but this one is the most recent one I got, and this is Power Play, and it's even darker, but that's that one there. But it's also very pretty, but the formula, I just love the creaminess of these, and I think they wear well. I mean, with lipstick, I mean, eventually you're gonna have to, you know, reapply it anyways, it's just lipstick, you know? So, unless <laughs> you're just not gonna eat and drink all day, so. <laughs> But anyway, so but I do really, really enjoy those. And I think they have a couple of other colors, but one of them was just too dark. Just wasn't one that I would have been interested in. So I didn't grab that one. But so far, the Boy Toy and the Saucy Gal are my favorites. And the last thing for lips I have here is Natasha Denona Lip Euphoria. And this one I have in Nude. It's a little bit lighter than I anticipated online, but I actually find with the combinations, the lips that I've been doing, that it really kind of tones things down a little bit. And it's actually a really nice combination. Now this is one of those lip plumping, has that like tingly, minty kind of feeling scent to it. So if that bothers you, if that's an issue, I would stay, stay clear of those because they are that kind of product. But if you aren't bothered by that, like I'm not, then I would recommend those. Now, one other product that I'm still, I, I think I'm liking it, but again, I don't feel like I've tried it with enough different products to be able to tell you for sure. The Nikia Joy Velvet Smooth Finishing Powder. Talked about this before, has a wonderful heavenly smell, at least I think so. So far, it is very smoothing. It is very velvety, I will give it that. Now, I definitely would watch what you're pairing it with. With the ColourPop, it works pretty well because again, that's more of a dewy foundation. So it kind of tones things down, makes it a little less dewy, which is good for me because I do tend to get oily, you know, t-zone by the end of the day so it works very well for me but i definitely obviously wouldn't pair it with a matte foundation which i don't really think you need to set a matte foundation anyways but um again i would just kind of watch what you pair it with but overall i do like that product <sighs> all right so <laughs> drum roll my favorite product this month and I almost didn't purchase it and I would have been so bummed had I not. I've talked about it in several videos. It is fabulous. It is the Tiny Marvels palette, the collaboration with Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. I've shown you this before, show it again, just because it's that pretty and that fabulous but I just love this. I love it. I love the color story. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the green. Now, I don't know, I'm, I'm still working on that one. But these metallic shades, this duochrome, I didn't watch Mel Thompson's video because I didn't wanna have any preconceived notions or know too much or have, you know what I mean, feel one way or another. I wanted my own honest opinion. So I had not watched her video, but I did watch it afterwards because I wanted to see what I thought versus what she said and you know how close I was and what, you know. So she did actually mention that this is a the only shade in here that is a, you know, Sydney Grace shade. This is called Red Chameleon, if you look for it online on her single shades. So this is the only one that was like, prefabricated, I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, the, all the other shades are all inspired by Mel Thompson, inspired by this case. 
inspired by her tattoos and her love of little creatures apparently so I thought it was kind of cool actually once I watched it but yeah so anyway so but this is the only like special duochrome shade this one that I thought originally was a duochrome it feels or looks like it would be but I guess it's just a like rose gold metallic but it's very 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 pretty but today I am wearing this one here again I'm just wearing like the basic I, I always I start off this is my transition shade deepen it up a little bit and that is sorry, I'm forgetting to tell you that's tree hopper this one and it's cute because they're named after the little like bugs and stuff too. Uh, this one's Death Moth, which I deepen it up a little bit and then I do the deepest spider here. I do that in the outer corner to really deepen up the outer part of the eye. And then what I did is I put this one, which is called Fire Butts, oh, which is funny, it's cute. I put that all over the lid and then just on the inner, or like, I'm sorry, the middle part of the eye, I put Marvel, which is this pretty shade here. And then the inner corner and brow highlight, I put Web, which is this here. And this is more of your like shimmer, like an ivory shade. The other ones are metallics or are mattes. So it looks like you have one, two, three, four regular metallics. You have the one duochrome, pretty special shade there and then the rest uh, then like I said the shimmer ivory color there and then the rest are mattes but oh my gosh if I lost every other palette in my collection and I'm telling you when I tell you I no joke have 200 plus palettes and I've lost count so I probably even have more than that <sighs> I know but if I lost every other palette was left with this one I would be okay and that says a lot for somebody that loves eyeshadow as much as I do and loves pretty shiny things so I recommend if you can get your hands on this, I don't know if the restock is back or when it will be back, but if you can get your hands on that, you will not be disappointed. Like I said, even if I don't use every single shade, the green I tried, I made a look, wasn't that impressed with my look. Now, Mel Thompson's look because she's a makeup artist. I'm not, I'm just your everyday average nurse. <laughs> so wanna be, wanna be makeup artist. But if you are, you know, into just beautiful shiny things, I recommend you try to pick this up but yeah keep an eye out I don't know when the restock is happening but if you can get your hands on that I highly recommend it is worth every $52 price tag it has <laughs> so if that makes sense <laughs> so anyways guys uh, that is all I have for oh you know oh shoot I almost forgot one last thing I wanted to mention now I've only worn this a couple of times but I did want to I'm trying out some lashes how those on now okay um, but yeah, these are the Kiss uh, Ritzy True Volume. They are natural hair and they're supposed to be like they're a little bit volumized, but they're not as like big and whoo as some of the lashes. I like a little bit more natural lash if I'm going to wear one. So I'm wearing those now. It has a very nice thin band. It was very easy to work with. I did have to trim them just a little bit for my eye size, but it was no big deal. And I like that it's like the tapered, so it starts off smaller and gets, you know, larger as it goes out. So I really, really like that. But I just wanted to tell you, I found these at Ulta and they were on sale. I might've gotten them for $3.99. And I know they have like the multi-packs, but honestly, I was just, I was trying to get to a certain limit to get like a bonus, whatever. And and so yeah so I ended up picking these up but I'm not disappointed I'm wearing them now and I'm liking them so far now again can't say it's a favorite because I've only worn them maybe three times but I do like them and I've used them a few times they're holding up well and I like the style so let me know if you've tried any of the kiss lashes I would love some recommendations on those I'm really trying to you know get out there try some different stuff try some lashes see what I think so but yeah guys sorry this has been a long enough video so I'm gonna stop you here thank you for stopping if you haven't already thumbs up don't forget subscribe hit that notification bell make sure you turn on all notifications so you get all my updates i post videos on wednesdays and saturdays at 9 a.m and i'm gonna have some new content coming up for you but until i see you next time stay safe stay healthy stay hydrated wash your hands and i'll see you soon bye Foundation. It's the pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation and so far I'm still on the boat with this one. I'm kind of teetering not sure August favorites All right, so I upload videos